Now, let's begin with the insert statement which is a part of the data manipulation language that is DML. So using this insert statement, you can actually add a new record in a table. Make sure while inserting a new data, you will have to follow the same sequence of the columns which are present there in the table. Means while creating the table, we listed the number of columns in a particular sequence and when the table got created, it was having the same sequence of columns. So while inserting, we will have to make sure that I am passing the value in the very same sequence and also I am making sure that I am passing the data in a right data type. Apart from that, we will also can do one thing like if you want, you can along with the table name, you can pass the column names in a particular order, any random order and in that particular case, you can pass the value in that way. Here in the implementation, we will also see how to insert the default and the null value while using the insert statement. So let's see practically how to do or how to deal with the insert statement. For adding a new record in this employees table, first of all, we will have to know the structure of this employees table. So here, as you can see, there are eight fields out there in this particular table uh, of respective data types. and by the time we created a table, after that we have added some constraints in this particular table. While adding a new record or while updating the record, you will have to make sure that any value that you are entering is not violating the rules of the constraints. So let's see how can we start adding a new record. So for that, first of all, I will use the insert keyword into the table name. All right, you don't have to write table keyword, but insert into employee so it will make sure that I'm going to insert the record in the employees table so in the first syntax I will not name all of these columns so what I'll have to do is I'll simply write values keyword and after that I can open and close these parentheses inside which I can pass different values so um, we have to make sure if we are not specifying the column names in the insert statement we will have to focus on and we will have to pass the same uh, num same sequence of columns for example if at the first position I enter 101 that means uh, 101 is for employee ID after putting a comma I'll have to enter something in the first name let's say I enter Anadi that will go to the first name and since you can see it is not null you will have to pass some value similarly after that last name I will enter like Sharma again in email ID let's say Anadi at tutorials point dot com then gender in gender I specified a check constraint so uh, the check constraint is either M or F so here I'll go for M you can actually check like you can try uh, some value which is violating the constraint to see what error you get similarly mobile number let's enter something randomly then date of joining in date of joining basically I already entered a default value while creating this but if you want you can call some special values as well like this date so it will take the system date that is the today's date which is there in the uh, system and that value will be inserted and later finally you can add a department's ID department's ID is something which is related to the department's table currently if you want you can make it null as well later we can make the updations so let's put a semicolon here and say enter and you can see one row created similarly if you want to put a record in the department's table you can see the structure it's a, uh, a departments all right it is the small table only two columns are there so you can go for the very same syntax of insert like here just a couple of values are required for example 10 comma admin all right so all right sorry I forgot to change the name of the table insert into departments and here you see one row created similarly you can enter multiple values out there 
like this. And if you don't want to put the value again and again, uh, you don't have to write this particular uh, syntax again and again. What you can do, you can use it as a script by putting some placeholders. For placeholder, you can simply put an ampersand symbol, say ID, and here inside single quotes, say ampersand name. All right, and just enter. So enter value for ID. It's like a parameter now. All right. So what you'll have to do, you'll just enter value 30, and for the name training enter one row created all right again you just need to put a slash say enter you see you don't have to write the complete syntax again so enter a value for id again you can put any value say 40 and let's say the department name is development dev department all right or devops so this is how you can keep on inserting the values finally you can say commit in order to save all the changes all right uh, we'll discuss about these commit things and the transactions in our coming videos but for now you can see how can we insert the values similarly now if I again talk about the employees table the bigger table uh, if in the second syntax what I can do is insert into employees and right after employees I can actually pass the number of uh, name of the columns for example uh, EMP ID as the first column, then last name, then first name, gender. All right, you can take any random uh, columns out here. All right, let's say DPT ID. All right, so for all the columns which I have not included in this uh, particular uh, query, they will be having a default value if you have specified any default value for a particular column that default value will be entered or otherwise the null value will be inserted so uh, let's say values now now let's talk about the employee id let's say employee id 102 last name let's say kumar first name Mohit gender M department let's say 20 all right say enter you see one row created if you want to see all the records which you have inserted in the table you can do that by using the select statements uh, we'll talk about the select statement deeply in our coming videos when we'll definitely talk only about the select statements but for now you can see there are four records out there in the departments table that is DPT ID, DPT name and there are four records 10, 20, 30, 40 with the respective departments. Similarly, if I would like to uh, retrieve the data of employees table, you can have that as well. All right. As you can see, there are a couple of video, a couple of uh, records 101, 102. All right. So these are the couple of records which I have inserted. So this is how you can add the new records in the table. As here, you can see the output is not much clear as it is being split into multiple lines. You can actually set that by setting the width of a particular column. And for doing that, you can simply write the SQL plus commands like column, column name, format, and the alphanumeric for A, and 10 means the width of the characters means in this particular column only 10 characters can be shown so similarly I have set the column last name and column email ID in my output and you can see the output is much clear you can still uh, shrink the width of the column if you want more and if you want uh, you can just remove some of the columns if you don't want to get the complete uh, set of columns for a record so this is how you can make your output more clear in the SQL plus environment of Oracle.